In prior videos, I went over proof of work versus proof of stake models with Bitcoin versus Ethereum. And we learned that Bitcoin nodes serve as a key part of the Bitcoin ecosystem because they allow users to verify the transactions on the network for themselves. Today, let's unbox the Bitcoin node made by the company Noddle called the Noddle One. Stay tuned after the jump. I'm Corey, and on this channel, I help you decode technology and innovation to grow your wealth on the journey to financial independence. So let's get into it. I spent a few weeks researching which pre-made Bitcoin nodes I wanted to pick up and what were the pros and cons. And there were a few companies out there that made nodes, which I may do a review on later. I settled on the Noddle One after talking briefly with their team on the internet. Of course, you can build your own Bitcoin node with common computer parts, but I wanted to go with a clean design and aesthetic along with the well-known quality from the Noddle team. This will just be an unboxing and I will go into the setup and things that you can do with the node in a future video. The most important thing you need to know about a Bitcoin node is that you can use it to verify transactions on the network for yourself. If you're not running your own node, you're outsourcing this function to a third party, and that is okay, but I just wanna point that out. Having a node allows you as a member of the Bitcoin community to directly participate in securing the network and your sats. So let's get into this unboxing and we'll go over what actually is included in the box. Okay, let's look at opening the Noddle One. Let's see what we have here. Got the Noddle sticker. We've got the Bitcoin accepted here sticker. Okay, so let's see what else we have here in the box. In the box, we've got our ethernet cable. And of course, this would be the cable to connect to your router on the one side and then on the other side to your Noddle One device. Looks like we've got the power brick. These look like bumpers for the bottom of the device. Power adapters for different countries. This would be for US folks. We've got the US power adapter here, two prong plug. And let's see, we've got here the actual Bitcoin node itself. So here we have the Noddle one by Noddle. Now some may ask, well, Corey, why did you go with this versus a couple of other of the options as I alluded to before? In this case, I went with this after researching the team and um, talking to them, actually. I talked to them via email, as I mentioned. The plugs, we've got the HDMI out, which is right here. You've got your USB connections here. And then you've got the power for your AC adapter converter here, which, and on the back we have the Noddle One, and yeah, there's your ethernet cable here, and you've got your USB here. All in all, it's a great fill-in device. You've got your device, uh, your power plug here as well, as I mentioned. The device feels pretty hefty. The Noddle One weighs in at, on the scale at 720 grams. I think you can see that. Not too bad, and it's pretty small. You can see from an aspect ratio, if you compare it to uh, last generation's iPhone, for example, and just to show you the weight difference between an iPhone with a small case, which is about 226 grams. So why did I decide to go with the Noddle One and what will I be doing with this? Well, first, as I discussed, you know, when you own a node, you're able to verify the transactions on the Bitcoin network for yourself. The other things that you can do with the Noddle One is actually some pretty cool stuff, such as setting up a lightning server. Um, I alluded to that earlier, and there'll be more to come on that. But Lightning, uh, which I have a video on, I'll include a link in the show notes. The Lightning Network basically allows you to route payments um, in a much faster way with much lower fees. And with a node like this Noddle Bitcoin node here, you can set up what's called a BTC pay server, which is a Bitcoin pay server. Um, and you can also set up the Lightning Network, which means you can, as I discussed in my prior video on this, open your own Lightning channels. And so uh, there'll be some more to come on that. So let me go over the specs in case for folks who want to know uh, what's in the device. Um, I'll also throw something on screen for that. But the CPU, it's got a Rock Chip RK3328 quad core ARM Cortex 64-bit 60, processor. It's got four gigs of 1600 megahertz 
LP DDR3 RAM, the video out, which you can see. This is uh, HDMI, so used for troubleshooting or monitoring. So the storage in here, you've got an SSD, one terabyte Samsung 860 Evo. So this is the bottom of the device. And power consumption, it's five watts during normal operations, up to 15 watts during your startup and initial sync, according to the folks at Noddle. There's a number of optional software things you can do with this. The key ones I'll just highlight here is Bitcoin Core, the Block Explorer, BTC Pay Server. So the Bitcoin Core is the software you need to in order to allow yourself to verify transactions on the blockchain. Uh, the other software I mentioned, which is the MB Explorer. This is a Block Explorer. So if you wanted to, I'll put a link in the show notes, if you wanted to go in and actually search for specific transactions, you do that through a Block Explorer. There have been issues with privacy in Block Explorers and some chain analysis as an example or other firms that use sort of honeypot websites so that when you go search for a transaction, you're actually giving up your own computer data and all sorts of things. So folks who care about privacy uh, would be interested in having a Block Explorer on their own node so then they can search and confirm their own transactions in a privacy friendly environment. And then finally that I'll discuss here is the BTC pay server. This is the software that allows you to, or anyone actually, to accept Bitcoin payments, um, as well as set up a lightning node network if they wanted to. And I'll do some more on that. But there you have it, folks. This is the Noddle One unboxing. So let's look at the use cases and what's next. I will keep this video to the point, but as I noted at the beginning, running your own node allows you to do your part to verify transactions on the Bitcoin network. Other things that you can do are to secure your own privacy and Bitcoin wallet using your own node, you can also set up your own Lightning Network channels. For an intro into the power of the Lightning Network, see my video above and in the show notes. Let me know in the comments if you run your own Bitcoin node or want to know more about this process. Join me on the path to decoding technology and innovation to grow your wealth on the journey to financial independence. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time.